Karina examined Pam. Everything was gorgeous. She thought Pam could be a good mother. Pam heard her say. Pam may have been too curious. Pam asked about Karina's marriage. Want kids? She asked. Since Karina needed to talk, she blurted Pam anything. Estranged from her wife, she halted in vitro. This kept Pam flirting. Pam wasn't autocratic. She entertained Karina. Pam made Karina laugh after everything she's been through. Jack noticed. Jack fretted. His goal was Karina Meyer reconciliation. Ben learned about the flirting. He begged Ben to do something, but Ben thought two women talking was harmless. Jack kept an eye out in the event he had to tell Maya. Vince attracted notice. Vince came scorched. Something they easily fixed, but their stomach was filled with fluid, indicating cirrhosis was devouring him. Drunk Vince. Even drunk, he visited the clinic. Firefighters couldn't treat or hospitalize him. Before they left, Captain Beckett intervened. Vince must be admitted to the hospital, Beckett said. Offered if they weren't going. He said Vince being his uncle when they refused. Rarely seen uncle. Vince went on a bender after leaving Beckett's rowdy family. He missed his brother's funeral. When Vince had a seizure at the clinic, he was too far gone to hear Beckett and ready to leave without traveling to the hospital. Thank goodness Ben was close. Ben offered Vince first aid and sent him to hospitals against his will. This gave Beckett another reason to drink. Andy and Montgomery drove Montgomery's strategist in the aid. Eli predicted two heart attacks. He was hurt in a teen love triangle. He saw Montgomery tenderly protect a youngster wounded by an official costume. Eli loved Andy in the tub with a towel vest. Andy dated Eli. Theo checked his previous area for safety. Almost closing the neighborhood of barbershop let him see he was trying to get it back when he arrived to the community. Karina told Maya she wanted space. She was rejected after a year of helping Maya. Karina only takes self-care breaks far.